Welcome to the Torpreneur Podcast. Travel industry veteran Shane Whaley will take you on a journey with fellow torpreneurs, sharing their tips, ideas, insights, and success stories to inspire you to make your tour business the best it can be. And now, here is your host, Shane Whaley. Hello and welcome to episode 107 of Tourpreneur, the podcast where we flatten the learning curve for tour operators and tour professionals around the world. Recently, I received a press release with a headline that read, New Association aims to support small destination experience operators. A new global association has been founded to unite and support small independent destination experience operators, I think that means you, from around the world. These include providers of local tours, such as food, wine, and city tours, venues, activities, and other experiences in a destination. Group Tour Professionals, GTP, will provide education, professional development, and networking opportunities, resources, and exposure for these operators. Now, I was really intrigued by this because a couple of months ago, I was talking about the need for associations for tour operators that I I wasn't seeing associations that were really looking after the small to medium sized tourpreneur, quite frankly. And since I put that episode out, I have had emails from associations around the world, some who say they are either that they are looking after small tour operators or they want to. Um, And also I've seen uh, the birth of several of these associations that have sprung up. So today I was really keen to find out more and I invited Vaughn Harden. Um, Vaughn, many of you will know him from the IATGG, which is the International Association of Tour Directors and Guides. Uh, they are some of the people who are behind this new association and I invited him on for a chat. It's about a 20-minute chat. It's not the full one-hour episode here because they have a scholarship that's starting on August 15th that I really wanted to communicate to you in case it was something you wanted to go for. Um, I have invited Vaughn and Adam and some of the organizers back onto the show. We'll do that in a couple of months when they're up and running. I just wanted to give you a flavor, a taste of what GTP is offering and for you to decide whether that's right for you. All the links and resources that we mentioned today on the show can be found at tourpreneur.com forward slash 107. And if you enjoy today's show, you get some value out of today's show, best thing you can do to help us out here at Tourpreneur is is to share it either on Twitter, social media, email, etc. Let others know what we're doing here at the Tourpreneur Podcast. Welcome to Tourpreneur episode 107 to Vaughn Harden. How are you, Vaughn? I'm doing great, Shane. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk to with you because I know I saw a press release from you and some uh, communication on the various Facebook groups about a new association you are setting up called Group Tour Professionals. Yes. Uh, so love to share a little bit more about that with our listeners. So what exactly is the mission behind Group Tour Professionals, Vaughn? So our mission is basically to unite to uh, unite and be an international champion for uh, small and independent tour operators or you know, what we call destination experience operators. Um, you know, we aim to, you know, set the highest standard of service and delivery in the tour experience industry. And, you know, we'll support our members by providing opportunities for professional development, education and network advocacy, resources and exposure. Uh, so, you know, basically we want to be the place where, you know, small operators can go to get help. And how did this all get started? It's interesting. About a year and a half ago, myself and and my community director for IATDG, Karen, and also Mitch Bach, who uh, runs Trip School, we were discussing ways to develop the association and reach more uh, more of our guides and, and tour directors. Uh, We agreed that, you know, helping members develop as entrepreneurs was important. And, you know, initially discussed inviting them to, you know, in inviting these destination experience operators um, or small tour operators who didn't have an association to be a part of IATDG's membership, uh, you know, because we thought it, we thought it'd be a good match, you know, as both, you know, groups benefit from one another. So uh, that was our initial thought. But, you know, after more thought, I realized that certainly a totally separate group focused 
you know, focus solely on the operators was the very distinctive needs and, uh, you know, desires and, you know, the training and, you know, one, you know, ITG, these, these members are a lot more, you know, individual based where for group tour professionals, they would be, you know, small businesses. So, you know, the needs are very, you know, very much different. What are some of the benefits then? So for two entrepreneurs who are listening to the show today and, you know, they're small, they're mom and pops, they're solopreneurs. What are some of the benefits? Why should they consider joining GTP, Group Tour Professionals? Uh, so we're working on, you know, quite a few things, of course. And through a bunch of things up against the wall, I think we have a pretty ambitious list on our site. And, you know, we don't know that we'll be able to accomplish all these things, but we certainly will try. I mean, it's our aim to at least explore some possible solutions, you know, for addressing the needs of these small operators. And, you know, these are some of the needs and concerns that were expressed by them when we spoke to them. So, you know, for example, you know, they, we, we put together a, a directory, which we have on our site now. It's a temporary site that we have, but it's a directory for these businesses to list their business, their experience, uh, you know, or any experiences that they have, you know, and it's something that once we gather enough, we'll, you know, we'll promote it to the to the public. Some, I mean, some would say it's like an, an OTA, but it's, it's not, I mean, cause we don't do any booking or, you know, manage any bookings like that. It's just pretty much a directory that we'll, you know, once we get the, the users, we'll, we'll market to the public. So that's, that's one of the benefits that we're working on. We're also working on, you know, partnering with some, some attorneys uh, and some firms to assist with legal, you know, to give, provide legal, legal assistance to our members because, uh, we know that oftentimes they have a lot of legal questions, a lot of legal issues. I know as a tour operator, I did when uh, we had, you know, the issues with COVID-19 and there were a lot of cancellations and just a lot of things like that. When that first hit back in March, you know, everything, everybody was going crazy, you know, so having a place where you could have that legal assistance, uh, you know, just readily available for you. Um, another thing that we were working on is, and a lot of uh, members have expressed interest in is, um, getting some information about insurance and where to go for insurance and how to handle, because everybody's insurance is, you know, every, everybody's company is different and they have different insurance needs. So, you know, having an actual an expert or provider who can, that we kind of have on retainer, if you will, to provide these, uh, you know, maybe provide some webinars or provide some information about that. So, so those are just a few things. We also want to, you know, work and partner with other organizations like yours and trip school and other places, you know, other, other people to, uh, come up with like a standard of, you know, sort of a standard of professionalism, because I think having that standard sort of gives, you know, the members credibility to the public to say, okay, they adhere to some sort of standard of some sort of code. Uh, so that's just, you know, that's just an idea and something we work on. We think it'd be nice if we could, do, could develop something like that. So, um, and then also just working with them for, you know, professional development, making sure that they're trained in the best business practices and dealing with customers and that sort of thing. So just a just a ton of uh, a ton of benefits that we're working on, and hopefully we can provide. I like I like that Vaughn, because it's kind of the the soft skills that yep. very often on at conferences and events we're talking about OTA and SEO and SEM and booking platforms, and very often we forget that it's the training to deal with customers because so many tour operators, you know, we we have this dream and desire and our passion to share buildings in their area or history or food, but it's actually dealing with, with customers, those kind of soft skills. And I was intrigued to read on your press release that you also suggested you may look into what you call an, an affordable annual conference focused on business and professional development. Now, I know right now it's COVID, no one's traveling anywhere, right? So yep. but what are some of the ideas you have around the annual conference? Yeah. So good question. So we are, you know, of course we don't have, we don't have a conference figured out yet for these guys, but we definitely have some, some good ideas and using some of the things that we've done, you know, with the, with IATDG, uh, the mm -hmm. association we have for group, you know, tour guides, tour directors, um, you know, for networking and, pressure, and professional development. And, and like you said, a lot of it would be focused on, you know, those soft business skills, because those are the things that I think are often missed. You know, I, I just have no experience with, even as an operator, I don't have a ton of experience with OT, with OTAs, but um, I look at it as like a, you know, this is a profession, a lot of profession in, in a lot of professions, people are skilled and trained on that specific profession. A doctor can, they're good at being a doctor. A dentist is good yeah. at being a dentist, but they're not necessarily great at the people skills or the skills of running that particular business. You know, so that's where we feel like we can provide the most benefit. But, you know, as far as a conference goes, we want to, we want to look at different ways to, 
really develop the community there because that's been the biggest thing for us with um, with with IKG is having this you know this community of people where everyone is happy and everyone is is excited to come back and everyone feels like this is a place where we can go where you know people understand what we do. They, you know, we can all relate to one another. We can relate to each other's problems. So just figuring out different ways to connect people in that way is, is going to be something that's super important to us. Massive. You know, I'm really missing conferences right now. I'm really Absolutely. missing having a beer with people and learning about different businesses, interacting and making business connections. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm craving that. And I know we all have to be good citizens and wait but, uh, you know, yeah. I, I can't wait to the day where I'm on a plane going to a conference, quite frankly. Absolutely, man. Did you know every weekday Shane curates the most interesting news articles in tours and activities and sends them out in a snappy daily digest? Grab your copy of the Torpreneur Daily Briefing at www.torpreneur.com. So GTP, is it U.S. or global? It's global. So we are, um, we're operating globally. We have, I think, close to about 200 operators who have signed up on our site, and they're from all over the place. I think the majority of them, to be honest, is from the U.S., and I don't know the count. But, yeah, definitely, we're reaching out to a lot of the opera, you know, operators throughout Europe and in the U.S. primarily, but definitely look to expand to Asia, South America, different places, because we definitely want it to be a global association with different regions, you know, throughout the, um, throughout the world. One of, one of the, um, associations that I'm most impressed by is the, um, uh, it's the association for, uh, I think it's a venture travel trade. I heard about it and, you know, found out a little bit about it, but I'm really impressed by how they, you know, they have the region sort of sorted out and they're really supported in those particular areas. So, so yeah, that's, that's definitely, you know, one of the models we'd like to follow. What do you think makes GTP different from other industry associations that exist out there? Because that there are quite a few springing up and there's also quite a few that have been around for some years. What sure. makes you guys different? Well, it's a good question. I mean, I have a, a, good, a good amount of experience. I've, I've been a, an operator for about 20 years and I've had the, uh, the privilege of attending a lot of the shows that these associations put on. But I think the associations, uh, the existing associations, that are that are out there primarily focus on the people that they're named for. For example, with with ABA, the American Bus Association, they focus primarily on motor coach operators. USTOA is focused primarily on the large over the road tour companies. Um, again, you have ATTA, which is the uh, they focus on the adventure guys, and then you have CIDA, uh, the Student Youth Travel Association. They focus, you know, primarily on the over the road student operators. And you know, while they certainly serve more than that. You know, I think that's their prime. They, they primarily champion, you know, for their respective members. So um, yeah. we look to do the same thing with with group tour professionals, focusing specifically on uh, the smaller, uh, local, what we call destination experience operators. And how much is it for listeners to join the GTP? One hundred percent free. Uh, there's no cost to join. It's totally free. We didn't want to put any barriers, especially right now when people are hurting and people are struggling. You know, we thought it'd be crazy to ask people for money during this time. And, you know, you know, so we've invested the the, the, the money and, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully it's a long term play for us. And if we get enough members, we get enough people to think that to find this valuable or find this interesting. And at some point, yeah, of course, we will have a membership fee. We can't go on like this forever. But, yeah, right now it's 100 percent free to join and register and sign up for the uh, you know for directory we, we we don't want to charge anything until we can prove that we're valuable we did the same thing with IATDG and we went for two years with no membership until we you know until we could prove that you know prove our worth so we you know I'm, I'm willing to bet on on us for that and in these days where we can't travel how do you envisage building that community within GTP uh, so what we want to do is we want to try to provide these resources as you know as and, and attract the, the tour operators with the with the content that we have. So try to provide good content. Try to provide different, you know, sources of uh, you know of community of community building, and just try to provide as many benefits as we can, so that we get we get these folks together and it becomes a value. Of course, is is definitely you know difficult to do without the uh, without the conference and without that community. But 
you know, we're looking for as many ways as we can to, you know, to get people involved and to get people interested and get them the information that they need so they see that, you know, we're really working hard for them, which is what we plan to do. So, you know, maybe getting some webinars. I mean, I know we're working on a, a video cast for um, startups and for, you know, existing operators that we can kind of help them. So, yeah, we're, we're trying to do, you know, quite a bit to to prove ourselves, to prove that we are truly working for operators and, and per, adding that value to their business. Sure. I mean, in the conversation I've had, obviously I speak to several operators a day. I mean, one of mm-hmm. the frustrations that I hear when it comes to training, and again, this is a little bit marketing related, but I think mm-hmm. it's across the board that, yeah, we've all heard some guru get up and say, hey, Facebook advertising is the way to get local business, etc." but no one's really showing us how to do it. And yep. I, I don't know if you've been into Facebook ads manager, Vaughn, but I go in there and I consider myself fairly literate online, mm-hmm. but <laughs> I look at that thing and, you know, it's constantly changing. So I'll do a course or a free course or read a book, go, okay, I think I know how to do it. And then I log in and they've changed it all because it's yeah. constantly evolving. And I really feel that the big gap out there right now is that over the shoulder, let me see how you're running a Facebook ad campaign to get people to come on your tours locally or whatever it may be. And I'm just using Facebook right now as, as sure. an example, but that's what I think is missing out there. And I, I studied with trip school, you know, I went on there, how to start a tour business course, which is phenomenal. I highly recommend it to people that was so full of value. And, you know, but that was an intense, you know, three week daily course. I know not everybody has got time for that, but if right. there's something where, like off the shelf, a la carte, you go in and say, oh yeah, I really need help building a WordPress site or I need help with, I don't know how to take photographs of my tour. I'd love to see, you know, how, how that is done. I think really that over the shoulder training is what's missing out there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that for the same for me, I mean, I use, um, I've used Upwork, but you know, since for almost 15, 20 years and have had a sort of a mixed bag of people who claim to be experts and they, yeah. You know, you pay them this money and then they, they, they go away or it's, nothing pans out. And, you know, I've had that happen recently. But, you know, I think what, you, what you've what you done with your directory for Tourpreneur is, is, is fantastic. And I think we need to do more of it and just kind of pinpoint, you know, who are experts in this area, who people who, who we trust have used. Because there are a lot of people here in this industry, um, you know, like you said, who, you know, everybody's an expert on something because, you know, they may have seen something that they've done something once or something that's popular or trendy at the moment. So, you know, I think weeding out people who are, um, you know, like you say, like you mentioned in one of your, uh, one of your podcasts, empty suits and from those people who really can provide, you know, the service that they say they can provide and really have a genuine interest in helping people. And as opposed to it being, you know, a cash grab right now where everyone's hurting. Yeah, I hear you. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your startup scholarship? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so one of the things that one of our primary focuses now um, in our kind of beginning, beginning stages of developing a, a mentorship program for new and existing operators. And, you know, with that, we develop a contest for you know any for anyone who is looking to start up a tour company or start their own thing. We figured that you know now is a great time for them to do it. You know, and our goal is to kind of help people come out of the pandemic, you know, swinging or come out of the pandemic better than they went into it. So, what we're doing is uh, selecting one at the moment, you know, one aspiring uh, startup that will support, mentor through the process, you know, starting their own business. And uh, we'll give them guidance and, you know, sort of advise them every step of the way. Um, we'll feature them on the podcast that I mentioned that we were developing for it. And, and we're also going to offer them, you know, sort of a startup pack, which is about a thousand dollars in value. So we're going to give them five hundred dollars cash to get started because that's stuff that they can use for, like you mentioned, Facebook ads and developing a logo and maybe a down payment on a, on a on a WordPress site or something like that. But just different things that they could, you know, they could do with that money to help them get going because I know it's a tough time. So uh, another thing we do is we we actually partnered with with Trip School and they're providing Providing us a spot at their uh, their their business startup course, which I think you said you've taken is and is really good. So phenomenal, worth every worth every penny that. No doubt. So I mean, Mitch is Mitch and Allen have worked with IATG and our members and have done training and destination training, and they're they're great. So we knew that that would be a good thing for for these members to do as well. And then also just daily support and, you know, commitment to seeing it successful. I mean, that's something, you know, how great would it be for us to take someone who has nothing but an idea, kind of walk them through the process, really 
have a finished product, a real, you know, a full deal. So when this, when this is over, you know, they can have something great for themselves that, uh, you know, that they can market to the public and a great experience that, you know, there's a passion of theirs that they can, you know, they can, they can operate. Well, that's very generous of you. That, uh, that's a heck of a helping hand for someone. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's something that we think is important. We need to get more, you know, we need to get more great experience, you know, experience operators out. And I think that's going to be sort of the way that we're going. We're, you know, a lot of, a lot more travel, at least for the next, you know, maybe 24 months is going to be, a lot of it is going to be primarily focused on local operators. So I think it's an amazing opportunity for them. So yeah, definitely. Uh, we're looking forward to that. We're also, uh, we'll be announcing and, and with your permission, you uh, make the information available to you, um, an opportunity for existing uh, operators to mentor some of the other, because we got, uh, I mean, I, I don't remember exactly how many applicants we got, but we probably got about 40 or 50, maybe about 40 applicants for this. So what we want to do is still be able to help some of these folks. So um, we're going to offer three uh, scholarships for tour operators. I think three, $400 scholarships is what we're doing for tour operators to just mentor these folks. And we know that it's not a, it's not a ton of money for them, but you know, right now well, things may be slow. It may be something that yeah. can, can help out, but we can, they can definitely help out another operator who's either starting out or who's struggling to figure some, you know, figure some operation issues out. And I think it'd be a good help for everyone. Everyone, you know, everyone needs some assistance right now. The more we can help each other through Absolutely. this because you know it's about giving back because so many successful tour operators i chat with are like they had a mentor when they were starting out yep and and they want to give back where can people find more information about group tour professionals and about the the scholarships one for group tour professionals uh you can find out more about the association we have our temporary site up at tourpros.org that's tourpros.org you can go there you can read about what we're looking to do and you can also again register for free your your uh, your business and any of the experiences that you offer so uh, that's available and free to everyone as far as the uh, the contest goes i don't believe that's on our tip site but what you can do is you can email either myself or adam uh, adam's email address is adam a-D-A-M at tourpros, T-O-U-R-P-R-O-S dot org. And I'm Vaughn at tourpros dot org. So V-O-N at tourpros dot org. And the deadline for this part, the deadline for the startup scholarship, uh, that contest is, is August the 15th. So that's coming up pretty soon. We haven't quite set the, de- the deadline yet for uh, what we're offering for the tour operators to be mentors. So, um, but yeah, August 15th for that. Well, I will add all these links and email addresses to our show notes. So for those of you who might be on the treadmill right now or walking the dog, you can find that at tourpreneur.com forward slash 107. And that's why, um, Ron, we're just having this 20-minute chat today because I wanted to get this out before the deadline of August 15th. But I would love to invite you back in a couple of months when you're up and running and uh, and share what you guys are up to. Absolutely, man. I'd love to be back. And I really appreciate you uh, giving us an opportunity to tell everyone about what we got going, brother. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to the Torpreneur podcast. Be sure to visit torpreneur.com to join the conversation and access the show notes, including links to the resources mentioned on today's episode. This is Torpreneur.